Steve, good morning. It's uh, good to see your face. I know we're uh, obviously we we um, should be at Mac, shouldn't we? Uh, obviously, with lots of engineers buzzing around, but uh, obviously there's been a bit of change. But you know, on, on this video today, what, what I want to try and get across is um, DMG Murray for the last few years have been really diving down automation. Could you tell me what machines and automation that you'll be showing at Mac? if it was on in 2020. Okay, uh, good morning to you, Mark. Uh, yes, uh, we would have been looking at uh, a number of products, but we would have been featuring very highly on automation, as you just mentioned there. So if we start off with something like the DMU 65, um, it's a monoblock, it's a, it's a good selling five axis machine, has a capacity of around 630 diameter by 500 high. Um, this would be coming with a three pallet system uh, and the pallet systems would be 500 millimeter square. So it gives you really good capacity to either multi-load components or to have big lumps on there, which you could use actually for a very quick setup. Um, DMU 50, very good uh, popular seller in the UK. Uh, five axis, very, very high precision machine. That would be coming with a PH150, which is a 10 pallet system loader on the side. So you've got five axes with 10 pallets. Uh, DMU 70 um, is a smaller machine for smaller components, really ideal for medical industry. Um, that comes with a WH robot, which is built-in system uh, with a shelf stacking system. So for, for really long running components on there. Um, so that, that really covers a bit on the machining center side of things. That's quite interesting, Steve. Uh, as I say, uh, automation has been a big thing for DMG Mori at, let's say, Emo, AMB over the uh, the last shows. Uh, so obviously the theme yet again is, is very much uh, DMG Mori UK at Mac with automation. But um, there's a couple other things I'd like to talk to you about. Um, laser tech, additive. Now, we, we had the opportunity to be in Fronten uh, launching a, a system that doesn't need its own... Uh, special room. Could you tell us a little bit about that? Well, there's two systems we do. The one you're referring to there, Mark, is the powder bed. Uh, and the problem with powder is it's potentially carcinogenic. So you have to be very, very careful with the handling of powder, you know, in a loose open area. So what we use is we use plug-in modules and the modules themselves are capable of deep cleaning the machine. Um, and then feeding in a different style of material. So if you wanted to change from, um, let's say, stainless steel to titanium, um, you could have a changeover of a, of a few hours and you could do it in a very safe, uh, safe manner without having to have its own special environment. This is quite important. The other machines that we do within the, um, within the powder type application is the laser deposition. So you can have the laser deposition, which is fast build, um, and generally you machine it back, or you can have the powder bed, which we've just been talking about there for, for high accuracy uh, and finished components, finished built components. So both styles we can cater for. Now, there's something else uh, from a digital point of view, obviously the way we're communicating at the moment, Steve. Um, what, what is my DMG Mori? What, what does that actually offer customers? Okay, well, my DMG Mori is a portal, customer portal. Um, you can have all the storage of your machine's history on there. You can communicate uh, to us in various manners, either in application or service, uh, directly. Um, so you can actually just uh, tap in, I need a service technician today, now, um, and we respond accordingly. Um, you know, they don't need to sit there on the phone waiting to get through to people. So it's a great way of communicating, but also the history is there. So, for example, if a customer has 10 or 15 machines, the first thing we want to know is when a customer calls us is what's the serial number, et cetera, et cetera. He's already left the shop. He doesn't have the serial number with him. He just knows it's one of the many machines that he's got. And we should know really what it is. But we've kind of got a lot of customers out there with the same condition. So if you go onto my DMG Murray, there is a physical picture which you can change to suit your own production uh, requirements as well. Physical picture of the machine, you press the button on the machine and that's it, it goes straight through to us and you just type, I need a service technician or I need someone to call me, whatever it may be. 
free of charge this um we've got more and more people engaging into this uh, and of course you know it does make life easier to communicate with great great system yeah, and I think that's important is, is that your machine is, is only good as your, your, your weakest link as such. But if, you, if you've got uh, a problem with the machine and you can have access to, to help instantly, obviously that's a bit of a game changer for, for engineers. And one thing I was going to say to you, Steve, is, is that, the, as you know, uh, myself and Paul came up and we, we, we looked at a number of the stock machines that you've got. And I, I, I know before we uh, last spoke, you said to me that you have sold machines and you have installed machines. Yes, indeed. Um, it, funny enough, actually, one of the machines that was due to go on to the uh, stand at Mac, the CLX350, uh, a small lathe with um, Y-axis driven tools and sub-spindle, um, unfortunately got stuck in Italy when the, when the lockdown started in Italy. But this kind of goes to show the power of the group that's behind me, supporting me. So from a local point of view, we are very, very agile. We are very flexible and we're very quick to respond to things. And that's important that I look after the local market. But what's more important is what's behind me, what's supporting me through these difficult times. In this instance, the particular customer has uh, a, a contract, that he, a power contract that he has with the government. And it was critical that he had to machine these parts. So through the various government bodies and through DMG Murray, as a group, we contacted uh, the government in Italy and they gave special permission to release that machine under the right conditions, of course. So which we released that machine, that machine's now being installed and running. So we have that. We also have uh, stock machines that we would have taken to, to Mac. We have um, the NLX 2500, which is a good seller, our best seller lathe. That comes with a front loaded robot, NHX 4000, which is a horizontal machining center with 21 pallets, very, very compact, very useful to use for high variety and high volume manufacturing. Um, and it can also be used for low volume manufacturing as well, from the point of view of getting the quick setup. So there, there are other examples on there. All of this, Mark, is all adequately supported with DMG My Finance. And this is really key to our business at the moment. Customers looking for one-stop manufacturing, um, once one-stop uh, producing of, of, of components means that they can purchase a machine, they can look at the finance, we can supply through our partners on tooling, uh, we can look at software solutions. Um, it's really a big must. But the DMG Mori Finance is really key. You can buy a machine from me today, you pay nothing for six months, no deposits paid, um, and therefore you can start generating cash before you've even started to pay me some money. And today, in the situation that we're in, that's got to be a winner. I totally agree with you, uh, Steve. Obviously, there, there, there's all types of different issues in manufacturing. Everybody needs to keep open, you know, uh, cutting material at the end of the day. But, you know, maybe purchases, uh, decision makers aren't around to sign things off, you know, for machines. But if you've got machines in stock, which you have, um, but you can actually keep those machines running for six months and not pay DMG Mori UK uh, a penny, it, it's got to be a game changer for sure. Yeah, in today's environment, uh, we have to be flexible. Uh, we have to understand the needs of the customer. Uh, you know, and our business is driven by the customer. And, um, you know, if we don't perform and we don't offer services that can, can match their requirements, we don't deserve their business. So we work very hard to make sure we can offer that. Last question, Steve, to, to, to wrap this up is that, you know, as I say, you've got stock, uh, very much DMG Mori UK is open. It's there to help customers and potential new customers. For any engineers that are actually looking for a, a new machining solution, what's your message to them? Well, there's various ways of keeping in contact with us. I mean, you guys are helping us through the video channels, which customers can review our machines at that point. We can also, also look at doing virtual demonstrations so where we've got a social distancing to maintain, we can actually set something up in our showroom with our customers. So there's, there's lots of ways of carrying on communicating with us. 
Um, we're open for business. We're open to look after customers from a service and spares point of view. And I think that it's really important that uh, we maintain that.